Good morning. Today we're playing Rud Runner. I mean Mud Runner. I mean Moon Rudder. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hello, it's a Monday morning. This is Squash Wash. I'm live on Twitch and I'm still trying out games accessible through the PlayStation Now subscription that I got accidentally earlier. Uh, last time, I'm going to press start to start a squash warp. We're going to warp to the mud. Last week, I played a, a car. Here we go. Now we got some hypey music that hopefully isn't copyrighted. I'm always worried about that. Here we go. Uh, this was a much better intro. Last week, I tried out a car-related game, and I proved that I was the best race car driver ever. Um, and this time, uh, on Moon Rudder, we are going to be um, traversing the hostile surface of an alien world. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna have to do some settings. Right stick to move the camera. Yes, I, I understand, but I, I need to go into the settings. I really need to turn... Oh. And I need to turn the sound level down a little bit. Uh, let's just leave. I mean, I know that's really hypey, and I'm sorry if it makes the game, like, not exciting for you guys to watch. However, uh, uh, um, left-handed controls. Um, I, uh, I, I'm not gonna be able to think straight. I'll try turning the music back on. But I found that turning the music off in the video games I've been playing has made them a lot more fun for me. Um, they want the contrast and brightness to have the tire track be very barely visible. Um, I don't see any tire track. Okay. There we go. I think, I think we want that, I don't know. It's barely visible to me. Let's see how that goes. Um, okay. Not nah, that uh, this this seems wrong. Let me let me let me make put the brightness and contrast back. Def let's do defaults, and then <laughs> go back to enable that and turn that off. Um. Whoop. Yeah, turn these things off. Good. Okay, all right, all right. We got, we got our, we did our, we did our settings. Uh, it still looks a little weird, but anyway, I can move the camera. And I, like I was saying, we have found ourselves on this alien moon, and uh, we're going to be traversing it through the mud. And meanwhile, uh, as it goes through the tutorial, I'm going to be make sure I have my streaming settings set up, set up settings, settings set up. <laughs> We will now switch the game to use center camera on the truck mode. Let's drive. Release the parking brake and drive along the asphalt road. Drive along the asphalt road. I don't know. It seemed like that needed a song. Uh, hang on. I, I'm trying to get my Twitch situation running. Let me make sure I have the mic turned off. This often happens to me. No, I can hear stuff. There we go. All right. Now... I can verify the existence of the stream, which is lovely, and I can pop over here, wherein I find that under Rud Munner, I'm sorry I keep calling it that, um, sometimes I'm doing it on purpose to be silly, but I, I also do honestly, like, swap consonants like that sometimes. Um, usually I'm being silly, but sometimes it will be an accident. Okay, parking brake. Well, what if I wanna stay parked? Look at this lovely off-road space vehicle I'm controlling. See, if I tell myself that it's in space, I'll be a lot more excited. Um, all right, uh, there I am. I'm turning the wheel. Ah, oh, I'm leaning back, relaxing in this little Jeep. I tried, I, I, I thought about getting a Jeep. It was too, the, 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 there were not enough room for my legs. All right, parking brake off. Brake. Oh, starting engine. All right, let's, uh, front rear camera. All right, let's, let's go. Woo hoo hoo. Oh, oh I looked away. Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> I looked away, my phone did something, and I immediately got stuck. All right, all right, we can handle this. Uh, let's go into rear camera. All wheels. How did I even do this? Okay, there we go. All wheels off. Uh, advanced. Change truck. Oh, that was fine. I'll attach winch. All right, I can turn off, I can turn my differential lock on and off. Interesting. All right, here we go. Now, I actually do know what that means. Last time, like, when I was playing the race car game, I had no idea what anything meant. I, I do understand differential lock. That's like so that the one wheel... Look at how much mud is on my wheels. That's so that one, one wheel doesn't just spin out while the other wheel does nothing. What is happening? Why can't I control my vehicle? Is it because I'm damaged? Do I have flat tires? Um... Restart. <laughs> yes, please restart the tutorial. I immediately drove off the road and now the car won't work. Alright, I'm gonna look around. Lovely. That's fine. Alright, stick moves the camera. Good. That was, that was the camera mode you're not going to use. Apparently. Alright, let's undo the parking brake. I'm not going to look at my phone. See? Don't text and drive. Here we go. <clears throat> nice, satisfying engine start. I wanna, I wanna see from inside though. It's kind of hard to steer. Like I gotta say, like it's not responding to my steering the way I would expect a video game to respond. Oh, more tutorial. You've approached a muddy road. That's what we're here for. Muddy roads take me home to the mud. All right, engage all wheel drive and differential lock. All right. Stand by. Stand by all wheels. All wheels standing by. All wheels engaged. Differential lock. Engage. Full power. This is amazing. I mean, like, I haven't done anything like this uh, since I took the Tercel uh, down to the river in New Mexico and, and almost got stuck and we... I... <laughs> I love that little car. That little one and a half liter 85 Tercel had frickin' all-wheel drive as a, as a, um, or four-wheel drive as a, uh, stick shift thing. I could just go into it. It was amazing. Am I making that up? That was true. I think that was true. I could, like, off-road in that thing, even though the tires were, like, six inches wide. All right. You're now approaching another truck. In Mudrunner, you can destroy enemy vehicles with your bazooka cannons. Actually, no. Apparently, you can switch between trucks that you've unlocked. Drive closer to the truck. I'm coming for you! Ah, oh, it didn't let me ram into it. Now, let's switch to this truck. To do so, enter advanced mode, get out of the car, and walk 20 feet over. Alright. Uh, advanced. Change truck. Select. Whoa, 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 whoa. Truck's about to fall over. Note that this truck is rear drive only and doesn't have differential lock. So we've had a major downgrade. Release the parking brake and keep driving along the road. What am I looking at here and why can't I see? Like, can I have... What are the controls for the camera? I don't like looking at the back. Headlight, brake, navigational map. Advanced mode, front rear camera, advanced mode, trailer cam, steer vehicle, zoom camera. Oh, okay, I see. Cockpit camera. Not available in the tutorial. I like that it's a cockpit camera, though. This kind of reminds me of my dad's old GMC, but it, it doesn't really look like it at all. Just mostly in that it just kind of seems like it's about to fall apart, but... All right, no offense to that old GMC, but... I don't know, maybe it's because the engine has a similar throaty, satisfying sound to it. Did I release the parking brake? Yes, I did. Just wanted to double check. Ugh. Enter truck in... Each truck in Mudrunner is equipped with a winch. 
that you can attach to nearby trees or vehicles. Let's use quick winch mode to pull ourselves over the hill. Tractor beam engage. Attach winch. Winch pull. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm gonna have to do this in Kerbal Space Program with the Kerbal Attachment System. I think we're di I think we're good. I think we've done it. To detach the winch, select Advanced Mode and use the Release option. We don't want you anymore, winch. It seems that sounds wrong. All right, carry carry on. Oh my God. Okay, back up. And then, go forward. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this incredible technology we possess here. Very good. Release the winch and proceed along the road. Oh, I've already done that. Alright. Apparently... There we go. We're fine. We just needed a little back and forth. That is a technical off-road term. Back forth. I'm not staying on the line very well. It kind of, there's like a little delay to like turning the wheel. I would like to see the Assetto Corsa cars on the mud track, or the the mudden cars on the Assetto Corsa track. You've arrived at the garage. I'm British. Where you can install add-ons, that's, that's, that, that's a wheezy waiter joke, don't worry. Uh, where you can install add-ons and trailers. Your truck can also be rescued and brought back to the garage if you're playing in casual mode. Well, I am playing in casual mode. If To access the garage, you must first unlock it, access to it by delivering four garage points. I'm just going to swap back and forth. Someone has already delivered three points to this garage. Because your truck has one point, we can now unlock it. Well, that is very convenient. Select unload and press cross button. What? That's X. What do you... Cross button? I'm gonna call it cross button from now on. What is the... What is... What is circle? Wow. Done. Your truck gets... I think this, this game is... Not originally in English or something? I'm not sure. Your truck gets fully repaired. Well, I've never heard it referred to as cross button. Done. Your truck gets fully repaired when you visit an unlocked garage. But gets refueled for only up to 200 liters. Uh, how much do I need? The aim of the game is to deliver logs to the lumber mill. Oh, okay. All right. They're telling us what we're doing. We need to deliver logs to the lumber mill. So now let's install an add-on that carries logs. All right. Captain's log. Start date, 21, 54, 16. Uh, today we had to stop the truck and navigate the in-game interface. Uh, we had to install add-ons and trailers option and select log carriage, which we then took to the garage. Log carriage. And press the cross button. Now drive to the log station. Set a course for the nearest station. Um... Parking brake is on. I didn't put the parking brake on. Boy, once we get the logs on here, it's going to be really difficult to get moving. Look at all this mud. Here we go. Am I supposed to be, like, changing gears? Like, do I have a gear control? Hang on a second. Does it do... Is it, do I have an automatic transmission? No. Yeah, yeah, I do. It, it's telling me what gear I'm in, but I have not had to do anything. Oh, look, the log station was all the way over here. Look! Look at all these dead trees! We have destroyed nature. Um... I'm gonna don't think about it too much. Here you can load up your truck. Different log types have different amounts of load points. Your current truck can only be loaded with short logs. Alright, well then... End log. Choose a load for your truck. I would like to... Wait. Back. How do I... How do I choose... Navigate interface. I am navigating interface. Oh, there we go. I don't know what was going on there. I can only carry short logs. Hold. Load up on short logs. Oh, wow! We used the transporter that was in the, uh... 
that was in the uh, truck bed there. Now let's proceed to our final destination. The lumber mill. I lumber, lumber, lumber to the mill. Uh, my parking brake is on. Boy, I'm especially caffeinated and especially annoying today. There, let's go straight through this water. Let's flood, let's flood the engine, let's see. Uh, zoom out, please. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> we can do it, we can do it. There we go, the, the tires got a bath, that was good. <clears throat> you see we, see, we are some of the first settlers on planet Omicron 6419. And, uh, because of this, we need to engage in some, uh, uh, early, you know, like, 20th century style infrastructure building, um, in order to, uh, to set up some basic habitation, see, because the planet, this moon boasts a, a natural abundance of, uh, uh, organic material and other substances that we can use to help make uh, future future uh, colonization efforts more reliable. There we go. It's now time to unload your truck, but remember, this would only be two out of eight load points total required to fill up the lumber mill in a real game. All right, well, we are, we've been warned. We have to do this repetitively otherwise. Unload. There we go, see, they beamed away. We've transported the, uh, the lumber into the lumber mill. You finished the tutorial. This tutorial didn't cover everything in the game. Try a challenges. Try a challenges to learn more. All right. Well, thank you for the tutorial, though. That was an excellent tutorial compared to a lot of what I've been doing lately. All right. New content is available. I, I don't think I'm going to do that. Mud Runner. Mud Runner. Welcome to Snow Runner. Press options button to see details. So apparently there's been, um... There's now a snow runner. That's exciting too. That is the, the the ice world. The next moon out is frozen wasteland. Why not try the challenges first? <laughs> All right, they're saying you don't know how to play yet. <clears throat> Pick up a trailer, then drive the rig to a small town. Don't damage your vehicle or any other vehicle. Uh, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? I, I I think that says do damage your vehicle or any other vehicle. And if you are the last surviving vehicle, as we learned, it, it I I've still continued to experiment. I still think that a set of Corsa would be possible with the settings done a certain way, such that you don't have take damage, um, and you don't have penalties. That you might be able to win a race entirely just by eliminating the competition. I'm gonna have to try because there's no other way I'm gonna win a race in that game. Because I'm not going to learn. I'm not, I just can't. I just, I just don't have the uh, fortitude. Okay, don't drive in the opposite road lane. Oh, man, they don't want me to have any fun. Use the cockpit camera when driving with the trailer. Okay, I, I will do that. Start challenge the rig, yes. Welcome to the challenge. Pick up a trailer, then drive the rig to a small town. All right. Well, as we've learned, the first step uh, is usually to turn off the parking brake. But um, first, I'm going to go to the navigational map. Um, it seems that the garage semi-trailer is... Look, it's 300 meters away. We're going to need to traverse uh, the surface a uh, distance of 295 meters in order to uh, pick up the trailer module. All right. Cockpit mode. Can I zoom in and out of the cockpit? Just a little bit. All right. Uh, I, okay, I see that that's the control. Can I go in the cockpit mode? All right. Cockpit mode. Parking brake. Off. Start your engine. All right, I actually, the fact that I know how to drive in real life, you know what, this is way easier to control now that I'm in the front. I think that normally you don't like, normally games don't really use steering wheels the way that, um, um, you know, steering wheels actually work. And so in, in, in not 
the cockpit mode, uh, you know, cabin mode or whatever, I, uh, I kind of didn't understand what was happening. Now, why can't I go forward? There we go. Just needed a little bit more. Doesn't seem like we have... We don't have a differential lock, and we only have two-wheel drive, so this could be a challenge. Anyway, now that I'm actually in the driver's seat, I can kind of... Uh, I understand, like, why there's a weird delay, and why you gotta, like, turn and then unturn. Okay, position your truck properly to attach the trailer. Reverse towards the trailer. Aha! The trailer is yonder. Alright. So, how do I... Oh, I can look out the window. Look at that. Oh, I'm turning the wheel wrong. Hang on, hang on. Alright, uh, now let's back up going the other way. Kind of close, kind of close. Now let's, uh, let's, uh, turn the wheel the other way. Go forward. There we go. There we go. See, it's just like driving a real car. And then we back. Uh, wait, which way do I want to? I want to turn, yeah, that way. I messed up a little bit. Let me, let me go forward a little. Can I look back this way? No, I can't see a blasted thing. Who designed this spacecraft? All right, uh... Going in, and then turn the wheel the other way to straighten out. There we go. Attached garage semi-trailer. Great, now use the navigational map to locate your next destination. You. Um, destination. Uh, okay, so is it gonna give me the... Uh, how do I get there? It looks like... <laughs> Deliver the trailer to the location marked on the navigational map. Is it gonna give me the, um... The line, or am I gonna have to, like, remember this? I th so it seems like we're gonna go out the way we came in. Make a right. Except, then what will we do? Like, is, it, is this an intersection, or is this an overpass? Because if it's an overpass, I don't know how we're going to do that. But if it's an intersection, that's fine. Hopefully we don't have to drive through the woods. I assume we're not doing that. Uh, assuming we can get on this, then we can go this way. Uh, and we skip the first left, make a second left. Drive all the way around. And then we make a sharp right turn, we make a right. We're going to come through. I don't think this is the most direct way, but uh, this is probably the safest way. All right. Here we go. Wow, this thing has nine gears. That's quite impressive. What is our what is our music situation like now? It it there is no music. That's fine. All right, and can I go that? Whoa, see, that doesn't look too good. That's that's like a a pit. So let's not go that way. Incidentally, what are we carrying? What is in our cargo? It doesn't say. It just says Max Gross. Max is gross. I agree. All right, here we go. Alright, and now we got to just proceed through this little lake here. Just a little bit of driving back and forth. See, it's, it's actually quite fun. The instinct, the instinct actually exists. In reality, if I was sort of stuck in a situation and my car was like not 
able to get out, I would get I would get very nervous. All right, gotta gotta check. But because it's a video game, it's kind of fun. I think I'm actually I think I'm actually enjoying myself. Like, which is really something. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, don't hit the thing. All right. All right, now we're gonna make a left. I think this is the road. That was close. I don't have any turn signals to my knowledge. I don't see anybody. Now remember you got a whole trailer back behind you. There we go. Oh, I'm being timed. I didn't realize I was being timed. I might have been a little bit more... had a little more pep in my step. Unfortunately, I can't read the speedometer. First of all, because it's in kilometers per hour, but second, because there's no numbers! <laughs> but we have roved 800 meters across the surface of this alien world. Quite exciting. All right, we're, well, 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 we're looking for a turn. I believe this is the turn, but let's double check in our map. Yep, this is the turn. So let's take it rather wide. We don't want to cut the corner with our payload back there. All right. Now we're going to go straight until we turn right. Not this one. The, ro the road is naturally going to veer to the right. Man, this is hard. It's like, is the trailer getting stuck on stuff? Like, what exactly is happening? All right, let's go around. I think I'm failing the optional objective not to drive in the oncoming lane. But you know what? There's nobody here, so... Um... And it's this. Yep, this is the one. Oh, there's... There's a truck ahead. Ah, it's gonna be a tight squeeze. Aha. This is why they said you have to not hit anything. Not damage yourself or other vehicles. Well, I'm gonna do my best. Look at that, I'm actually trying. All right, let's get as close as possible to this here truck without actually hitting it. And then proceed forward. I think I hit something, but let's see. And then I think I go this way, a little bit through the mud here. Who would have thought there'd been so much mud in this game? All right, uh, forward, 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 forward. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. All right, all right. Now I need to double check my map. I am so close. Yep. Now, there are trees and such abound here. Proceed, 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 proceed. All right, we're approaching the landing zone. All right, target coordinates. Oh shoot, reverse the truck so the trailer is properly positioned. All right. I don't know if I'm capable of doing this. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, Got to think about this. Part of it is that I'm not actually, you know, used to driving tr tractor trailers in real life. Like, I've, I don't have a lot of that experience. But the other part of it is that I keep swapping the controls. So I want to turn my wheels to the... Hang on. I want to turn my wheels this way. Nope. Apparently that was wrong. I want... Nope. I want to turn my wheels that way. Well, that didn't quite have the desired effect, did it? This is backwards.
This is exactly backwards of where we want to be. Now let me... Ah! No. <laughs> you, you said you wanted me to fold the truck in half, right? That was the request? Whatever else is going on, we are going to get that optional objective for having driven... Oh my gosh, hey, that worked. I didn't realize I could fold myself in half. Um, so if I just go straight back, we, we have some problems. So I need to straighten out, but I, I, my brain just cannot figure out how this works. Okay, I, let me, let me pretend I'm not in a video game for a second. The truck cab is tilted, it's angled, the back is to the left. I want to get the hinge to go... I want to straighten out the truck, which means I want to back into the direction that we're going, which is this way. Sort of undid a lot of my hard work there. Now I want to turn that way and back up. Nope. Oh, I've hit something. All right, let's go forward and then straight now. Straight now. Good. Now go back. That no. Ah. Now switch the direction of the wheel and go back. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm not really sure, but I'm sure tearing up a lot of mud, and now we're stuck not going forward at all. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Just a little bit of gas. We've gotten ourselves, gotten ourselves very stuck here. Ah, oh, I've dug, I've dug a hole in the ground. Oh wait, I have a winch. Attach winch. Oh, thank goodness. We winched. Release winch. Oh, thank goodness we had a magic winch. Okay, so now, how the heck do I do this? Why can't my brain, like, I think it would be hard enough for me, because I've never driven with a trailer in my life, but the problem is that I'm, I'm holding an, a PlayStation controller. I, I, I can't wrap my head around which way even does what. As soon as I turn around, I'm, I'm flipped, but I have to look backwards. I would rather I had a mirror, but like I understand that the mirrors wouldn't be able to see because somebody designed this cab with a big wall. Um, all right. Ah. <sighs> All right, my instincts were somewhat correct. Now we back up like this, and now we straighten out. And now we go forward. I said we go forward, slowly. All right, now let's go backward.
Keep going. All right, now straighten out, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out. All right, we're so close. We're so close. I keep zooming in. There we go. Now we, we proceed. Forward, 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 forward. Good. I'm just peeling out the entire time because I don't really have the, the finger coordination to... What the hell is happening? Why is it folding up? Damn it. I can't figure out. Nah. All right. All right. Okay, cargo transport 800-888 is arriving at the docking position. However, the dyslexia of the pilot I don't want to say that cuz uh, dyslexia is more serious than what's going. All right, I want to go that way. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we straight. Now we straighten out. No, I said straighten out. How do I, Can I just reset the back? There we go. Just straight. There we go. And now straighten out, straighten out. Uh-huh. And now, and now, uh, and now straighten out, straighten out. Yes. Hello, little car. We're, we're gonna try not to smash you. Now, go the other way, go the other way. We're, we're close. We're gonna hit this, this nice house here. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> we parked a little bit. A little bit adjacent. We need we need translation controls. Quick, translate starboard primary RCS thrusters. Uh, I need to look, but I will lose my optimal optional achievement if I look backwards. So just just align the docking ports. No, the wrong way. Okay. Advanced mode. Wait. Detach trailer. Look at that. Drive away from the trailer to complete the challenge. With pleasure. I and I didn't I didn't make the surface any more dirty than it. look three stars. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're like, you are... Oh my gosh! I got all the bonus objectives! That is... That right there is entirely because of how practiced I am at rovers in Kerbal Space Program. Don't damage your vehicle or any other vehicle. Complete it. I'm sure I didn't damage my vehicle by driving it into the house three, four times. Don't drive in the opposite road lane. I... Yes, I certainly didn't even think about doing that. And I used the cockpit camera. I did. I did that the entire time. Okay, and the music got really loud again. And once again, once again, we're going to deal with that by turning that off. Whew. Well, heck, let's do another challenge. Maybe it'll be m more challenging. Repair and refuel. Aha. Aha. Maybe we're going to have to do a mid-air refueling. Repair and refuel trucks by using other trucks. Then, deliver logs to the lumber mill. The bonus objectives, scare 10 birds by using your horn? You're gonna have to teach me where, where the horn is first. Don't drive over the bridge. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong with the bridge? Find and squash a pumpkin. I love these bonus objectives. <laughs> Well, this is squash wash, so we got to squash something. I think a, a pumpkin is technically a squash, so that means we're squashing squash. And we're not going over the bridge. We're going to try to scare birds, birds, but we don't have to do it from cockpit view, which is rather helpful because cockpit view was challenging. Um, trucks using other trucks. 
I don't understand. Repair and refuel trucks by using other trucks. I'll, I'll repair and refuel you, he says. Crash. Then deliver logs to the lumber mill. All right, well, we have um, the log book standing by. Oh, holy bejesus. Be what just happened? We, we, just, we just landed here. I do want to um, see where the horn is. Aha, R1. To deliver the logs you are carrying to the lumber mill, the current truck first needs to be refueled. Switch to a nearby truck with a fuel tank. Change truck. Do you have a fuel tank? Yeah, you seem like you have a fuel tank. Man, somebody has not taken care of the paint on you. It makes me feel a little less bad about uh, the state of my Xterra. All right. This truck can carry fuel, but it's seriously damaged and needs to be repaired. Use the navigational map to switch to a truck that can perform repairs. I assume it's that one. All right, this is the B-66. We're gonna drive the B-66 repair vehicle to the B-131. The current vehicle has a utility attachment add-on that can repair trucks. What amazing sci-fi technology we find ourselves in. All right, um, where are we going? Can we like navigate? Like, how do I do this? Oh, I can add path nodes, right? Okay. Oh, it says don't drive through over the bridge. Wait. Okay. Uh, wait, how do I undo that? What? How do I delete path nodes? Oh my god. Okay, good. Delete. No. <laughs> I, I want to switch to the B66. Good. Now. No. <laughs> I just want to undo these path nodes. Switch to the B66. Good. Select path nodes. Whatever. We're going to go down the road. We're going to make a right. We're going to cross the river. How do I keep ending up here? Change truck. Oh, I had to hold to change to it. Okay. All right, well, look, I can actually see the darn thing. So let me just drive forward and then don't use the bridge. Okay. Wait. Is there logs in my way? What's going on? All right. It might actually be easier to be in that mode, but... Because I can kind of see what's... Yeah, see... I'm very confused by what's going on. Oh my gosh, look at all these rocks. Holy moly. All right, somehow we made it. All right, let's let's switch in. Okay, we're we're doing fine. We're fine. We're fine. Let's switch into all wheels though. There we go. All wheels. All wheels all the time. Look at this incredible rover technology. All right. And proceed. I I I'm being silly but like this is this might be I can't believe I'm saying this because to be honest, I downloaded Mud Runner because I was like, there's no way that isn't going to be hilarious. But you know what? I'm having the most fun with this game of the PlayStation Now games I've downloaded so far. I tried Steep, Adrift, Assetto Corsa, which is, those were all good games. Assetto Corsa was particularly impressive. Um, 
And I played a lot of steep actually after I recorded because it was really satisfying to like just snowboard down mountains. But I felt that it was kind of eating my eyeballs, if that makes any sense. Like sometimes games can do that where you're just, oh wow, this water is so pretty. I, I have low standards sometimes, but let's, uh, wow. This is like, uh, this is like the arroyo at my house where I grew up and sometimes it would flow like this and people would get stuck. Don't try this at home, kids. We tried to cross the river in our, uh, in our Ford once and flooded the engine and got stuck. I miss when Santa Fe was like, you know, that kind of thing could happen in Santa Fe. All right. Wow. Yeah, let's look out. <gasps> so cool. That was awesome. See, I'm actually genuinely having a great time. I don't think I need to be like slamming the accelerator at all times the way that I am. But oh, look out, there's a tree. Okay. And I don't really know where I'm going now, but let's get into cockpit mode. It really is easier to drive it like an actual car, which is a sign that, you know, they put effort into actually, you know, making it feel like a car. Feel like a truck. Uh, hang on. I, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. I'm on my way now. Oh boy, I don't know what key I was in. I'm taking my time, but I don't know where. What? Turn left. Left. Getting muddy. Is that a tree in the road? Can I drive through that? Yeah, I drove over that. That's fine. Uh, wait. I thought this was a road. Okay, apparently a little bit to the right, there is a road here. That's a tree! Can I miss the tree, please? There we go. Oh! 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 Keep going. Can I run over this tree here? Yeah, just drove through a tree. Okay. Yeah, we had to do a little bit of deforesting. Oh, there we go. Lumber mill! I have a right- wait. Wait. I'm at the lumber mill! Where was I supposed to go? Oh my god, I was only supposed to go over there. <laughs> we gotta go all the way back. <laughs> I thought this was where I was going. Your truck isn't carrying any load. Ah. Uh, well, we took the scenic route. <laughs> I cleared the way for the next vehicle. That's a Taking my time, but I don't know where. So goodbye, Rosie, the queen of Corona. Whoa, 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 I'm out of control. I'm sorry I'm singing so much today. I mean, my wife's gonna watch the stream over and she'll be happy about it, but I don't know if anybody else is really that interested. Oh, wow, look, look at that, like, little, that person, the person who lives over yonder seems to have a, um, I can't see it. Seems, seems to have a, a, a pool. Look. They got like a little pool area by their house. How nice. I mean, you know, naturally occurring. I think in a set of course of the, um, the, uh, the, the vehicles that are being simulated, you know, are, are all about handling incredibly well. And you're going very fast. So the faster a car is going, the more, the, the less you notice the difference between rotating about a center axis and rotating about like the, the front axis where the wheels are right and in a lot of video games when you turn it's not so much that you feel like the wheels turn and then the car responds so much as just whatever you're driving just kind of rotates about the center and and you change direction somehow but these because the speed is low and uh, yeah, there's just, it's, it's, it's a range, like, actually, like an off-road vehicle, and you actually have to drive by leading the, the outside of the turn or whatever, so. I'm not sure if, what words I'm using, but. And I guess also the wheels don't snap back immediately into straight. Obviously, because cars wouldn't do that, but video games, the wheels will tend to just immediately spring back to being centered. They don't have to, like stay pointed forward. Okay, so we're out here. Ah! Okay, well, we ran into the tree. Uh, just leave it there. 
Hang on, I wanna I wanna back up a little bit. Oh, are there any birds around? Alright. Use the B66 to repair the B131. Enter the advanced mode and select utility attachment. Now select B131 and press cross button. <laughs> really never heard that. Great, now switch to the B-131 and drive to the fuel station to get fuel. Uh, change truck. There we go. We have been repaired. Alright, thank you very much for those services. I've left my engine on, hang on. Uh, parking, parking brake on. Stop engine, please. Ah, oh, The peace and quiet. This beautiful place that we're ruining with our ridiculous engine noise. Alright. Um, now we switch. Alright, damage. We're still damaged, apparently. Can I, can I do more repair? It says damage to... We're like 225 out of 500. So let's use the utility attachment and repair that. Okay, the utility attachment is empty now. All right. Hopefully we won't need it anymore. All right. Engine on. Look at all that. Oh, wow, we're seeing the engine. Oh, my God, look at what we're doing to the planet. That's awful. Look how gross. I can smell it. It makes me nauseous. All right, well, I'm going to I'm gonna have... In my head cannon, we're, we're using high-tech fuel cell propulsion mechanisms, whatever. Whatever, it's got a nice, satisfying, throaty sound, but, you know, you could do it with bloody vegetable oil, and, and then it would be carbon neutral, you know? Gosh, makes me angry. It, like, I'm, it makes me legitimately angry, but let's not get... Where am I going? This time I'm going to pay more attention to where the fuel station is. Okay, apparently the fuel station's right over there. I still don't need to cross the river, so let's just proceed. Uh, that's a tree. Alright, let's, let's, let's avoid the, the rocks. And the trees. There we go. All fine. Alright. All right, we're closing in. Approach distance, 35 meters. Let's get in all-wheel drive. I feel like we need all wheels here. Man, why are we going so slow? I, I really don't know how fast we're going because the kilometer per hour just has no numbers. The, the navigation is a little confused about the easiest way to get to the fuel station. Ugh. The fuel truck is quite small. I mean quite small, quite slow. Oh no, we've run into a tree. Well, get in four-wheel drive. Get out of here, tree. We don't want you. We don't want you no more. All right. Parking brake. Fill up. Fill up. Fill up. Fill up. There we go. Done. All right, let's turn the wheels the other way. Yeah, see, it actually takes the time to turn the wheels. It's like actually driving. That's really something. All right, we're gonna make this turn. I think we can do this corner. Yeah, yeah, all right. Now straighten out, now straighten out. Yeah! <laughs> Here we go. Country road. <laughs> Come on. We can go faster than this. I think I'm kind of just 
digging into the ground a bit much. Oh, because I've got so much fuel now. Let's put on all-wheel drive. Then the front will help pull us along a bit. I wonder if this game is also on PC. I feel it would look pretty good on PC. It might also be, like, I'm having trouble controlling the throttle because I, I don't really enjoy holding the, the trigger, like, partially. You can pull the trigger all the way in, but of course, then you just spin out. And that was a problem I was having in a set of Corsa 2. I don't really have the fine motor control to, like, only squeeze the trigger a little bit for very long. All right, speed up for me. Come on, you can do it. You can do it with quick creep. Oh, there's a there's a log in the way. All right, wait, going over the rocks. That's okay. That's okay. We're perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. All right, coming in, coming into dock, approaching. Approaching target area now. I want to get next to it. All right, Come, pulling alongside for refueling. Advanced. Uh, fuel cistern. No, there we go. Fuel up. Fully fueled. Now I need to switch. Let's stop the engine. Ah, ah, ah. Change truck to the C-255. Oh, let's, yeah, pour those f greenhouse fumes into the atmosphere. I don't want to look at that. Let me get in here. There we go. All right, look at this big, deep, throaty engine. Here we go. Ah. Where men are men, and, and, and men are muddy. Oh, we can do it! We can do it! All right, now I'm not allowed to cross the bridge, so we gotta proceed forward. Oh, that was not the button I meant to press. There we go. Let's put on four-wheel drive, please, or all wheels. And now we gotta go around this corner and run over this log like we usually do. And then straighten out. There we go, straighten out. Now, it seems we've already run some electrical cabling around here. I wonder if I can knock down these telephone poles. That seems like a fun experiment for later. I don't know how exciting this is to watch, but it's actually quite fun to play. <laughs> Living out my fantasy of being a, a mutter. A mutter? I don't know. I like being a moon rudder. Alright, this is going to be kind of a sharp turn, so... Let's get started now. We're going to kind of drive on this... Uh... How far can we lean over? Okay, that was... A little scary, but I think we're okay. All right, now we finally get to cross this river again when we actually need to. Now we are going to the right place, right? Lumber mill, yeah, yeah. We've already been to the lumber mill. Let's clean off these wheels here. Our wheels are getting so muddy. Let's go clean them off. There we go, no problem at all. Just drive right on through. Oh uh, my god. I can't believe we've been doing this for 20 minutes. All right. Uh, lock, differential, maybe that'll help. Oh yeah, that seemed to help. Hang on, my arm is itchy. Oh wow. Oh look, he's going, he's going nuts in there. 
God damn it! <laughs> All right, we did it with judicious use of horns and differential lock. No, we need all-wheel drive. We need that. We don't need the differential lock the whole time. Wait. Yeah, we do. Locked. Locked and loaded. Okay. All right. Now let's just hang hang a left. I haven't seen any birds. I'm sorry to scare you all, birds, but I just I have to. I don't remember what my optional objectives were. One of them had to do with birds, scaring birds with a horn. The other one was to not drive across the bridge, which I have done very carefully. I don't remember what the other requirement was. So I may have failed at it just simply by not remembering what it was. Maybe it was a time limit or something. Hang on, my arm is itchy. I don't know what's going on. Whoa, that was a that was a big ditch. All right. Now, are they going to make us park it a certain way again? Lumber, 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 lumber. No, I think the transporter will work just fine as long as we can get into the box. We 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 get in. We there we go. We've gotten into the um. We've gotten into the uh, confinement beam. We can go ahead and uh, beam out the payload now. There we go. Uh, apparently, I didn't scare enough birds. Well, gosh darn it! Oh, I never found and squashed a pumpkin. That was it. That was what it was. That was the most important one. Well, I'll have to do that in real life. Um, but at least I didn't drive over the bridge. Whoa. Let's find out what one more challenge is. But I, oh, climb a hill. But I think I'm 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 about done. Follow the route to get to the top of the hill. Bonus objective: Don't damage your vehicle or any of the vehicle. Don't use the winch, and always use the cockpit camera when driving. Well, I always use the cockpit camera when driving. Uh, let's just climb a hill. Yeah challenge begun and then I'm gonna be wrapping up um, yeah okay cockpit camera we got a little Jeep here we go yeah we need all-wheel drive for this All right, this is this is amazing. Oh, use the manual gearbox to crawl. Hang on, how do I start tutorial? Wait. Hang on. Restart. Yes, I I want to learn manual in this. There we go. Let's get in the cockpit mode, and then let's hit start tutorial. Use the manual gearbox to limit your vehicle movement speed. This will improve traction and prevent your wheels from digging. Press right stick to grab and move the gear stick. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I, I'm not even lying. Like, that is so cool. I can't... High torque gear. Automatic gearbox. High torque gear can only use when engine RPM is high. Okay. Well, it seems to be letting me do it right now, but maybe that's because the engine isn't running. All right, let's get into automatic. And then... Turn that off. Get into first gear. All right, let's get into first, let's get into automatic. Now use the right stick to move the gear stick halfway, wait. Halfway along gear one. Ah, okay. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Now your vehicle will crawl. Note that the L2 button no longer makes the vehicle reverse, but acts as a brake. Continue with the challenge. Holy moly. Why do I not want to... Why do I not want to put it all the way into first gear? That's interesting. All right. Uh, use the right stick to switch the reverse gear or to go back to automatic gearbox mode if needed. All right. Well, that's cool. I'm not sure, but it seems to me like maybe... Seems to me like maybe, uh, you can't, like, you don't get into, like, you can't just get into gear just by getting into gear. You have to kind of, like, there's a little bit of skill to getting into the, the right gear. Huh. Don't fall back. Don't roll down the hill. Don't roll down. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, reverse, please. That was fun. Okay, uh, first. I don't know why I wanted it to be halfway into first. I don't understand half, halfway into first gear. Okay, uh, let's go into first gear. Let's go into f first gear. And go up this way, please. That's, that's better. That's better. That's better. Good, good. All right. Ha ha ha! See, you've never seen driving skills like this before. And... Uh, don't hit the wall. All right, good. Good. Yep, we're bouncing into something. I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> oh, that's spectacular. Failure! Your vehicle has left the route. Um, okay. I'm not going to try using cockpit camera, but that's mostly because I want to... Um, I want to see what it looks like on the outside so much. Why do I want to be only halfway? Now your vehicle will crawl. I don't understand. So like, is, is, is there like an intermediate first gear that's like crawl mode? I don't quite understand. But I'm just gonna leave the gear, sh the, 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 the transmission where it is for the time being. Up we go. I do think that, much as I like cockpit mode, it does sort of limit your visibility in a way that, in reality, you have a bit more to work with. Like, I can't see over my hood at all in cockpit mode. And I love it's called cockpit mode instead of, like, you know, driver's seat or something. Um, it's like something I would say. Um, they saved me the trouble. All right, we're almost there. We're doing much better already, because I can tell when we're about to fall off the cliff. All right, all right, all right. Doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good. You see, I'm actually trying to play this game. Like, I'm so shocked. Even if I have been calling it Rud Munner the whole time. Um, whoa! All right. No, 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 no. Stay, stay. Stay on the road. Wow, they really are simulating the mud getting all screwy, screwy down there. Like, it kind of looks funky, so don't look at it too closely, but uh, the effect is of the road kind of disappearing underneath you. I'm getting a little dizzy, though. Oh, I hope it's not making anyone else dizzy. Oh, whoa, I'm suddenly very dizzy. Okay, hang on. Let me just be in cockpit mode for a minute. 
All right. I need to see outside. Highway to the top of the hill. Dump it down. Wow, we're going quite vertical. Come on, we can do it. All right, well, this doesn't look like the way up. This looks like a way down. How long have I been streaming? All right, I got a couple more minutes in me. Ah! I could probably go in a higher gear, but... All right, hang on a second. I have to scratch my face. I'm glad that the, um... I'm glad that my person manages the clutch for me, you know, because uh, it would not be fun to manually control the gears if you had to actually do the clutch with your fingers. I mean, it'd be fun if you had the peripheral for it, but without the feet, that wouldn't really work. Speaking of which, maybe someday I'll have rudder pedals, and then we can drive with rudder pedals. You can steer right and left with the rudder. We did it! And I just, I just couldn't stay in the cockpit mode and actually see where we were going. We didn't damage the vehicle this time, and I completely forgot the winch existed. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate you joining me for M Moon Rudder. Mud Runner. And, um, yeah, I'll be back with, um, let's see. Oh, it's a woodpecker. How nice. You know, it sounds, con in this game, it sounds actually quite a lot like what it sounds like on my morning walk out here. Uh... Although, the the owl was... Yeah, I'm not used to... Well, I guess maybe those are just doves. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm posting these videos of the day on my YouTube channel, but I'm a few days behind, so I'm sort of catching up. But um, uh, please do check that out if you would like. And uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a good week. And uh, stay muddy.